Hey you guys, Tiffany here. Um, really quick short video today, just kind of giving you guys an update on things. Um, I've kind of been sitting on this and, uh, for a little bit. It's just, I've kind of been struggling with making this video. But um, last week there we did a video introducing you guys to our, um, our farm animals. And um, two days later, we were out, and it's, I've been under a lot of stress. I've been doing just a lot of stuff going on. It's not so much like bad things happening. It's just it's just a lot of kind of like stretched thin a little bit right now. I've just been so busy with everything. But um, two days after we did that video, uh, was out at the pasture. Finally, had gotten some time to get out there and work on mowing and uh, getting things uh, cleaned up a bit out there. Just, just doing some routine maintenance stuff that I hadn't had time to do in a while just because I've been so busy. And um, so we were out there, we fed everyone, fed the goats, the goats had eaten, we'd let the ducks and chickens out and everyone was all good and happy and doing their things, foraging and such. And uh, it was late in the morning, we left to go to the gas station and get some drinks and we'll get some water because we were just we'd already gone through our water it's, it's hot and we were gone not but maybe like 15 minutes and when we got back Leon's like mama I'm gonna go turn the fence off I think that's magnolia and I'm like what do you mean and I look and magnolia is um She's in the duck pool and she's upside down and um, so we rush, we put the car in park, Leon goes and turns the fence off, we go in there and she's gone. And there was like, I don't, we still, we still don't know what happened. It, she, there was no blood, there was no feathers, there was like, it's like she had just flipped over upside down and died or I, I, I don't, I don't even know, I don't even understand what happened because she was doing great. She wasn't acting like under the weather or anything. She was active and perky as usual. And she wasn't like, like my first thought was like, well, maybe she had a, a parasite and I just didn't pick up on it. But I mean, I, I consulted with uh, the breeder that we got her from. She, she follows the channel and she was kind of just as shocked as confused as, as as we were because she's like she was healthy she it's she it, that doesn't make any sense for her to just just up and die like that and our, th our theory is that maybe um, because we do have two male ducks in the flock we think that maybe one of them just got aggressive with her Uh, I mean, she's she's been submissive to the ducks for a long time. Half of the flock grew up with her, though, so it's not like she was like completely new to them. But the thing of it is that's so frustrating and confusing is they had been integrated for a few weeks at, by this point. It wasn't like they had just been introduced. They had been introduced for a few weeks. They weren't fighting or, or there weren't any like issues. They were all getting along and I just, I'm just kind of like beside myself because I just don't even, I don't even, I don't even know, I don't even know how it, what happened or how it happened. So, um, so that was uh, my kind of first day back on the property, taking care of stuff and getting things back in order, and that happened. So you can, as you can tell it was kind of defeating and I was kind of, I was not in a good place, honestly. And uh, so I've kind of given myself a couple weeks to make this video. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know, just got so much stuff going on that I think that I just need to step back a little bit and uh, like I said in a previous video, I'm, I'm not burned out on YouTube. I, I love give, 
giving you guys these videos. I'm just burned out on a lot of other stuff. It's just been, I've got a lot of stuff on my plate and um, I'm not gonna quit YouTube. I'm not gonna stop filming. Um, I think I'm just gonna step back a little bit and go back to my posting once a week. We'll go back to posting on Wednesdays for sure. And if we have extra videos, then we'll have extra videos that week. I'll let you guys know as that's going. Um, and uh, then as things, as I start to kind of pick myself back up, then we'll start to work back into that Monday, Wednesday, and Friday posting schedule. And uh, we'll just kind of go from there. Um, things are gonna start picking up, so we might have some more videos coming out. Um, in addition to the once a week definite posting, we just got approved for our home loan. And so we're currently in the closing process of that. So we will be breaking ground um, on the property here in the next uh, couple months, which is, that's that's good news. That's That was definitely um, positive news that I needed. This has just been, this has just been a really rough year for us. And I know I'm preaching to the choir when I say that because everyone has had a really rough year. It's kind of been depressing going out to the pasture to feed and her not being there to greet me like she always does because she would literally, I'd go out there, I'd let them out of the pen and she would greet me, honk at me, come up, let me give her pet ins and she'd just kind of buddy up with me while I was in there. So, um, it's been a little rough, but, um, we're going to get through it. We're going to get through it. Um, this is <sighs> homesteading is not for the faint of heart. It's, it's not easy. And unfortunately life and death are definitely a part of it. And sometimes you have really good years where things are going great and you have no losses. And then sometimes you have bad years and I think this is just our bad year and um, I know it's gonna get better I know it's gonna get better and we're gonna get through this we're not gonna quit we're not gonna give up this is the lifestyle we want and we're gonna persevere and we're gonna truck through and we're gonna keep going because it's gonna be worth it in the end it's gonna be worth it in the end against the wall. Yeah. I'm thinking that one. Wanna go Don't ahead? Don't get burnt on the lamp. Yeah, watch the heat lamp. It's like what we put the chicks in. Watch out. Go. Go back yeah. up, buddy. There you go. Like they're dogs, you know? Good. I can tell these. I can call them. I call them. Hi. How are you doing? Are you happy there? I... Other baby. What name? What name one? Magnolia! Her name is Magnolia. I know Magnolia. Are you excited, baby? Are you excited? Yes. Magnolia's feathers are starting to come in and look at
look at them. Look at those gorgeous feathers coming in. You're gonna be so pretty, mamas. Where is Magnolia? Where's my baby girl? Are you having a good time out here? Yeah.